You can have multiple email accounts synced to your phone so you can receive emails wherever you are without having to sit down at a computer. To set up an email account, tap on the mail shortcut here and seven account classifications will be displayed. AOL, Gmail, Microsoft Exchange Active Sync, Other, Verizon.net, Windows Live Hotmail, and Yahoo. Here, I'll be showing you how to set up a Gmail account. Other email accounts will have a similar setup, with the exception of manually added accounts through the Other option. We'll cover this in the next section. After selecting Gmail, enter your email address and password. Choosing to show password, you'll be able to see the actual characters you've typed. Once this is finished, tap Next. The phone will check your account settings to make sure everything is correct, and as long as it is, you will be prompted to assign the account a name and choose your name as it is displayed on sent messages. Tap Finish Setup and you'll be taken to your inbox. Once you've added an account, you'll need to select Accounts List from the pop-up menu and tap on New Account to add additional accounts. Here, I'll be showing you how to set up an email account from a provider not listed. Tap on Other and you'll be taken to this screen. Here, you'll need to enter the email address and password for the account you want to add. Tapping on Show Password will show the characters you've typed. Once you've entered this information, tap on Manual Setup, and this will take you to the incoming server settings. Here, select whether the account is a POP, APOP, or IMAP account. Your email address will be carried over to this screen and will automatically be entered as your username. Your password will also be carried over. Next, you'll have to enter the server address and the device will automatically pull the website used in your email address. If this is not correct, make the necessary changes. Select the proper security type and enter the server port number. If you don't know this information, it can be obtained from your email service provider or your employer's IT department. Once the information is entered, tap Next. The phone will check the account settings for accuracy. Next, you'll need to enter the information for the outgoing server. Again, your username and password will be carried over and enter the correct server address, security type, and server port. Tap Next when you're finished. Again, the device checks the account settings and if everything is correct, you can assign the account a name and your name for sent messages. If you've synced more than one email account to the phone, you can choose which account you want to make the default email account here. Tap Finish Setup and you'll be taken to the inbox. Here, since this is a new account, I haven't received any messages yet. Selecting Accounts List from the pop-up menu 
You can see a list of all your accounts, as well as individual accounts, as well as the number of unread messages in each. Selecting all accounts will take you to a universal inbox with emails from all accounts in chronological order. Tapping on the mail shortcut, you'll be taken to the inbox you have selected in accounts list. Along the bottom, you can choose to view received messages, conversations, favorites, unread messages, marked messages, meeting invitations, and attachments. Tapping on Compose Mail, you can select which account you want to send the message from at the top of the screen. Here, I'll send this email from my work account. Tapping on the To field, you can begin typing the email address or name of the recipient and any matches from your contact list will be displayed below if available. Tapping on the subject line, you can enter a subject for your email. The large box at the bottom is where you will compose your email. Tapping here, you can begin typing. You can also use the speech to text option to compose your email. Come ready to explain the concept of your presentation. Tap send and your message will be sent to all valid recipients. You're also able to save emails as a draft. Tap on compose mail to bring up a blank message Enter recipients and a subject if you'd like, and enter the body text of your message. Tap on Save as Draft and your email will be saved to the Drafts folder. A long press and hold on the message preview will bring up this menu. At the top of this window will be the subject of the message. Here you can choose to open, see conversation, delete, mark as read, reply, reply all, and forward. Returning to the inbox, you can tap on the check marks next to the message preview, and here you can choose to mark the message as read or delete it. Choosing delete will bring up this confirmation box. Hit OK to confirm. Selecting folders from the pop-up menu, you can switch between different folders in that email account. Opening Trash, you can see all the emails I've selected to delete. Opening the Sent folder, you can see the messages you've sent from your phone. In the Drafts folder, you can see unsent messages that you've saved, and tapping on the Message Preview, you can continue to edit and send or delete the message.